Hi, cybersecurity professionals. I'll be starting a new way of gearing up our committee for cybersecurity knowledge. What you'll be expecting will be a weekly lesson, which will be built from the most basic and the most fundamental of cybersecurity. And slowly, we'll be learning more technologies and all the jargons and terms which will make all of us cyber security professionals. I'll try my best to work the syllabus, which is designed to assist anyone keen to use this channel to build up their CISSP, Certified Information System Security Professionals, CISM, Certified Information Security Manager, and also CISA, Certified Information Systems Auditor. And hopefully, there will be more cybersecurity professionals around and the committee will keep building up. Just in case some of you are not aware of what I'm talking about with all this CISSP, CISM, and CISA certifications. I'll give you a quick overview of these certifications. CISSP, Certified Information System, Security Professionals is issued by ISO 2 for professionals who have passed the exams and fulfilled the criteria for these certifications. WA CISM Certified Information Security Managers and CISA Certified Information System Auditor are issued by ISACA for professionals who have passed the exam and fulfilled the criteria for the certifications. Both the ISO 2 Certified Information System Security Professionals, CISSP, and ISACA Certified Information Security Manager, CISM, are highly sought after IT security certifications. And professionals holding on to these certifications will be deemed as globally recognized leaders in the field of cybersecurity. And also, anyone holding on to these certifications is deemed to have obtained high-level understanding in cybersecurity. Let us start the topic for today, and we will be learning about the most fundamental of cybersecurity by understanding what is cybersecurity. Then we will continue to understand what is cyberspace all about, the ground and the platform in which the cyber game is played. I always say cybersecurity is like a game. You will need an attacker and defender to get the game going. Missing out any one of these parties will dismiss the need for cybersecurity. Imagine there's no attacker, why is there a need for defense? Then we will move on to understand what is a cyber attack. Always be on the offensive side of the cyber game and stay on top of the game. So the first step will be to understand what is cybersecurity. Right now, I'm bringing all attention to the international definition of what is cybersecurity by NIST, NAS. If you are in the cybersecurity field, you'll be hearing a lot on the term NAS, and therefore, you need to have a basic understanding of NAS. So, what is NAS? NAS stands for the National Institute of Standards and Technology. They are founded in 1901, and NAS is a federal agency within the US Department of Commerce. Their mission is to promote innovation by advancing measures, standards, and technology in ways that enhance economical security and improve the quality of life. NAS gives birth to a lot of cybersecurity baseline frameworks, like NIST 834, which is a set of guidelines or we can always deem as the best practices in our industry for creating disaster recovery. NAS defines cybersecurity as the ability to protect or defend the use of cyberspace from cyber attacks. This definition is more for company understanding, or I'll say a high level meaning. I'll be sharing with you my own definitions of what is cybersecurity in the next slide. Another important factors you will need to remember will be the framework of NAS. 
the five functions of the framework will be to identify, then you will protect. Always listen and detect. Response when there's an issue and recover from the issue. Having a framework is very important as you set the objective and directions for the company. You provide the necessary guidance on how you wish to implement your cybersecurity strategy. Cybersecurity is always about working as a team to defend against any attack. And everyone has a different part to play in the company. There will not be a one suits all definitions. I've come up with definitions for everyone contributing to the different angles during their different appointments in the company. For top management, their job is always to look at how to manage and sustain the company in the long run. When you talk to them about cybersecurity, their key objective is to look at how to balance their defined corporate risk with their existing corporate finance. It's all about cost management and risk management at their level. While for mid-management, like IT managers and IT senior managers, cybersecurity to them is how to use and give the estimate budgets to ensure the minimum protection will be implemented. Their objective and the cybersecurity to them are to give their best protections between the given pricing. Their job is to find the best suit solutions between the given price. And for the end user, people like you and me. Hackers are not interested in your hardware. They are very keen and all they want is your data. The ultimate aim of cybersecurity is to retrieve all the targeted data, either for them to sell it away or tagging on the data to access into more systems to retrieve the data they are ultimately looking for. So to us, cybersecurity is all about you. Data in today's environment is key and protecting data is a must. For a battle to happen or for a cyber attack to happen, we also need to understand a little about the battleground. The internet also serves as a platform to carry out the cyber attacks and defense, and we call it cyberspace. The global definition by NAS for cyberspace is that it will be a global domain between the information environment consisting of the independent network of information systems, infrastructures, including the internet, telecommunication network, computer systems, and embedded processor and controllers. But how I define cyberspace will be any device or anything that is involved in the World Wide Web, www. Once there's internet access and package sent from any device, the device will be exposed to cyber attacks. Do you know that now even your smart TV, smart printer, and smart icons are target of cyber attacks? Now we understand the battleground, and we have talked a lot about a cyber attack. So let us find out more what is a cyber attack, and what it will concern you, and why is it concerning to you. The same flow that we have done previously to read on the definition by NAS. In this context, NAS defined a cyber attack is something by cyberspace as targeting an enterprise use of cyberspace to disrupt, disable, destroy, or maliciously controlling a computing environment, infrastructure, or destroying the integrity of the data or stealing controlled information. As you can see, the cyber attack is used to control your environment and destroy the data. But if you were to ask me for the simple definition to understand, all I can say is an attempt to check if you are ready. And if you are not ready, you will just attack and get what you want. And you'll be round the clock to check who is not ready and open for attack. In today's world, they're using machine to sniff for any opening and any opportunity they can attack in. So to these attackers, all these are simple tasks. They are just making use of a machines. Of course, the ultimate aim, as we have discussed before, is to get your data exposed. So now, you know how important cybersecurity is. Without any defense, it's like putting all your information in front of the attackers 
and waiting for them to hack in. We have come to the end of today's knowledge sharing. I hope you all enjoyed that. Next knowledge sharing we will be having and we will be learning with more on the fundamental of cybersecurity. And we will be learning a lot about CIA triads. CIA triads is a very important concept as all cybersecurity elements are explained and expand around this. This is the core concept for cybersecurity. CIA triads is all about balancing the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of the systems and information which you would like to assess and control. And the very end goal is to balance these three elements. So let us find out more. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. And I hope you also build up your confidence in the cybersecurity community. Cybersecurity is a long journey and the community will be there to help you along the way. Do remember to subscribe, like, comment and share and spread the words around.